What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a buy now button. Now I know for the most part I've had issues in the past where you know I want people to go straight to the checkout when when I click when they click um, the add to cart button or just change it up to buy now right and they get pushed right to the checkout but um, for mo for all the default um, WooCommerce websites usually when you click um, add to cart it'll take you to the checkout page right so I'll show you an example here right so right here on mine on this button here it says um, buy now and if I were to click this it would take me to the actual page you know and then if I were to click add to cart um, it would just add it to my cart right um, and I don't want to do that I want it I want it when I click when I click any add to cart button, when I click buy now, I want it to just send them straight to the checkout. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that. Uh, if you're wondering how I made this theme, I will have a tutorial uh, video um, pretty much breaking down everything, uh, just building this website from scratch. It's probably gonna be coming out in about a week or so. Um, and it's just how to build a sales um, product landing page. Um, so if you like what you're looking at, um, just make sure to subscribe so you don't lose out on um, on viewing that video when I upload it. Okay, so uh, let's begin. So head over to your um, dashboard here, and then uh, go into plugins, and you're gonna need just one plugin here. And this one is called Direct Checkout. Um, you can just search for it on on uh, on the plugin store. So just click add new and then just search for direct checkout um, and it's basically gonna look like this uh, let me actually show you because you might maybe you might actually not be able to find it so um, I honestly just search for buy now just search for buy now and it'll also come up as well so it's this one right here direct checkout um, and just go ahead and act just go ahead and install that and activate it okay so for the most part you probably won't have this setting here um, and this will most likely be enabled, right? So pretty much um, what you need to do is you need to you need to go ahead and disable the cart page, and then leave um, leave enable single page checkout. Leave that um, on, and you can also you definitely want to leave um, enable redirect on add to cart because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to redirect them from add to cart, and we want to um, redirect them to a custom URL, which is a checkout page, right? And as you can tell, I already have my checkout page, but I mean. Um, basically how, how you would just type that in is you just add your website here and then put slash checkout whatever your checkout may be maybe it's maybe it's checkout maybe it's dash checkout page I don't know um, but for my website it is my it is my website name and then checkout okay um, and that's pretty much what you got to do there and then just go ahead and click save changes and then now if we were to head to our um, our website here we can go to a visit site and now if I were to click this buy now, it should be able to take me to the checkout page. And as you can tell, it does. It takes me straight to the checkout page. Um, and it's basically going to be the same thing. If I were to go here to my shop here and I clicked add to cart, it should take you to, to the checkout page. Um, let's go ahead and test this out here with this product. Add to cart, checkout page, right? Um, I mean, for my opinion, there's really no need to, you know, add it to our car or something like that, you know, unless, unless if you're, you think people are going to be buying a lot of products, but if you're just selling one product or you're just selling a few and you still want to send people, um, uh, straight to the checkout, I highly suggest using that plugin. Uh, if you're wondering how I built this custom, um, checkout, I will definitely have a video on this. It will be included in my, um, uh, in my, uh, product sales page, um, uh, tutorial so I'll have that up here pretty soon um, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. I also do have a video on, on creating a custom checkout as well on my channel already so you could just look for it um, in my videos so I think that is pretty much it um, but yeah if you're excited to just um, see how I built this uh, this website here or this sales product landing page um, just go ahead and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on that. 
Um, and if this video did help you guys out, if you're wondering why I'm looking at, if I'm looking over here, which I should be looking over here, it's because my camera's right here and I have a habit of looking at myself instead of the camera. Kind of weird. I don't know why I do that. Um, but I'm just still, um, you know, just started to record again. So yeah, I'm just still kind of getting used to that. Um, so if you guys did enjoy this video and if it did help you guys out, make sure to subscribe and um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.